Yeah. Then we'll head over right now. From what I remember, I think this has four day stages. Oh no, it's three. Hey, never mind. Well, again. Again, as usual, hard version of the normal stage. Here we go! Here's the. Uh, when. <laughs> Let's go for this, and yeah, it's gonna take quite a bit because it's a lot much longer stage. And <laughs> good thing those pulleys are there to get up as up there, up if we fall. That would be useful if that was the thing in the original, in the normal stage. But oh well, it is what it is. So, although the I want to say the ending of the stage is actually a little bit different from the from the normal stage, surprisingly. Okay, so, oh, it'll be fun when we get there and you can see some popping in the back there. Or, or, or like in the background, I should say. <laughs> Screw that, just jump over the swing and, and make it all the way over here and... Yeah, I don't need to hold me in check, I just need to do this. Hmm. <laughs> Pulling on up and ram grinding again. Yeah, so. Yeah, there's no robots here. I guess we always shot the point where we trigger the robots, so. Yeah, we could stop if we wanted to, you know, or it's just not there in, the, in this version. And so, that could also be it. Who, who knows, but. Maybe I'll have to play this level again, but take the other pathway, but on my own time. <laughs> and then... Yeah, this guy's back. <laughs> yeah, good. Even though he's directly next to us, he, uh, he would, could just try to clobber. Uh, go into, for the moment to clobber. Oh, but nah. Oh, there it is. It's done. I think that'll be the last time we see that guy. Hey, but I'm doing pretty well here. We got. Uh, I've not died yet, and did get hit a couple times, but it works and. But that's not what we're supposed to do. But I managed to save it. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> so you said the gate, gate stopping for the gate there, but you know, but no gate that ain't that time to stop. I'm switching place. Ah, uh, no, my beautiful wings. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm not trying to go for the S-Wing, I'm just going for the end of the stage. <laughs> Wait for that water to go and then do that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, just had to wait for that, uh, that fly by and... <laughs> yeah, I'm getting pretty close to the, uh, doing pretty well here, who knows, will we beat this in five minutes? Cause it is possible to beat the normal stage in under five minutes. Because I've done it before. <laughs> and yeah, you don't want to get darn it. <laughs> we died there. Yeah, we were going so well too. Uh, just, uh, that gap where we dipped down a bit, filled in. <laughs> Well, it was lost gas swing, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but you can actually get died by crushing. English. I actually did record a clip a while back and on my own time, and, and it shows what happens when you get uh, the death and what happens when you get crushed. <laughs> but what, what the clip I recorded of it, you know, I clipped it, it was. Quite interesting how it happened. It didn't quite make too much sense, but um, how it what ended up. But eh, it happened, and while, while running on the waterfall, 
Oh, he is so cool and we're at the end of the stage, but start now we're going backwards because going was right for that rail grinding part. And then, yeah, it rings it to guide you for the rest of the level so you know where to go. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. And bang. And the rest of the level just. And the goal. Uh, the rest of the level just rail grinding to the goal ring. And. Yeah, for some reason they made it to a Sonic's like squat really low here, which. You can pull that off in Chung Nan, but it's not that low, but. Low at the end of the stage, but. Eh, it's something I figured I'd point out. Oh, then. I did get the S ring on that still, surprisingly. I yeah, just noticed by the posing. Yeah. Got, got two more day stages left here. You know, and then we have the whale hog, and then that'll be it. Here we go! <laughs> There's that cloth of water here. And. and <laughs> oh, mmm. <laughs> Yeah, stage is pretty quick, but can be kind of easy to die. Hey, like here, for example, the quick time event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And seeing a couple left, what also seeing a couple left quakes in these where people had more plenty of trouble on these, which, yeah, I, I mentioned this all before, but yeah, they're gonna mention it again. Well, even I had trouble with this before, but oh, shoot. Yeah, I jumped, but it didn't give me the full jump there. Yeah, there's no checkpoint for so long. But it's definitely one of the hot few stages, DLC stages here that I honestly have a little trouble with. With some. Mm -hmm. but yeah, so I, I think that there is pretty much it here. Uh, is there even a Come to think of it, is there even a checkpoint in the stage? I don't remember. Because the most memorable parts I can think of are the beginning leading all the way up to here, because it's pretty easy to die here. Here, but just hard to time that when, you know, the platform starts shaking and... Oh uh, yeah, that is... That was the end of the stage and he's doing the squat thing with his legs again. He got the S-Wing and... Mm -hmm. So there was no checkpoint to that stage. It just go it was like so quick, but it's also kind of easy to die on that stage. But now for the last day deal stage here, with, but it's not like, it's just pretty cool. There was even a cool point coming up, which I think I did show this during my actual let's play of the game in one of my bonus videos. It was like now we're seeing it again in case of. In, in case if I did it, it didn't show it off to you. Alright, as soon as you land, you get a boost, otherwise, yeah, come to like a semi mock speed section where we're actually doing this on a bit of land and a bit of water. <laughs> Middle East is pretty cool. Oh, so, haha, <laughs> I got them both at once. That's what quick step in. Quick screw. Hmm. Who would. Something they don't do enough. Enough in sound like games for having to where you boost it through a corkscrew, which, uh, which I guess their first attempts on, on that will with I guess it's Sonic Hero special stages. Well, I guess you can kind of do it in Sonic 2, so I guess it wasn't really the first, but yeah, but with like a boost sound like game, there weren't really many points where you could really do it. But only points where I could think of is with Green Hill Act 2 for generations. Like right before you go into the rail grinding part. Right and I think that's pretty much it. I can think of. And you got two deal. Yeah. Now we just got two rail hog DLC stages and then that'll be it. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we're starting off with the big deal and we're in the main level but we're going backwards. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, it didn't even hit me. 
Yeah, he's just painting the ground. <laughs> okay, that, that helps. Hmm. Ah, okay, wait, do, yeah, just still first that you join that, otherwise, that is your, you, that will happen if you do it. And, yeah, big dude's not done. It's probably some, something I could have grabbed in the, in one of the past of creative containers or something. Something, but, hmm. Oh wow, I just did it the hard way for, as you actually see what it's like to take it on a big dude without using an unleash meter. <laughs> okay. And, oh, there's two more. Hmm. Um, yeah. Don't you just love it when the music play? The big buck, the big guy music, the music for the giant dude plays and then it cuts straight to the normal battle kick music. <laughs> Especially when it's just right at the, when there's like one enemy left. The question was, did we really need to just beat that big dude? Don't know. The only way to find out is by lifting that door in the first place. Like he said, skipping the big dude. You, know, like, you don't even need to grab onto this pole, but I still did anyway, just for fun. <laughs> yeah. I think we need to go over here for something, but it's just a one up. Probably something in some of those barrels there, but. Mm. Go ahead with that and a whole bunch of rings and got three one ups in that because I got a hundred rings for, from one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so just crashing the rest of these enemies here, which. So, again, I don't have much else to really say but here, but. Hmm, we're practically at the end of end here, so we're close to that because we're almost done with the DLC stages. <laughs> a little bit back there and there's no Eggman I mean no there's no DLC stages for Eggman land which some people are probably thankful with and I'm not sure if there was any that no, are disappointed that there aren't any would have been cool though but mm. oh well oh wow it is what it is it's because you know Eggman lands already long enough as it is I mean, you could probably uh, do some. I could probably figure out some way on how you could do DLC stages for Eggman Land, like split each some, uh, some daytime Sonic part into a free you free to make it in one DLC. No, no, like to make it be like three separate DLC stages, same with the Warehog. Or uh, go with two in some cases. I, I swear I jumped! Mm. But now we have to redo this part here. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, even though it looked like it touched the water, we managed to save it. Now let's grab that one up. Let's get up, back up to 99. Yeah, I was trying to jump around it like like this. So it, which does work, <laughs> even though you heard a splash. But, Touch the very edge of it. Yeah. Now, once the only way I do punch you down. Didn't even hit me here with that. Hmm. Just give me enough time to punch you. Hmm. Oh, don't see you here. Good. <laughs> Close one, but there. I beat him in the ground. And look at that. There's two more we have to fight. <laughs> right. There you are. There you are. Finish with these fucking annoying dudes. I probably should have just. Really, I should have just done with these guys. 
close person than the big dude, but better late than never, I guess. Yeah, I'm good for these two. And those fucking witches. Again. I mean, we didn't see them at all in Empire City. Pretty much good, good, but now they get a day off. Then, <laughs> you get a You think they would talk to each other and be like, hey, watch where you're aiming next time you go for the dude. Ooh, sorry, but my hands are too big. <laughs> That's just my own head cannon on how I would picture that to go. You know that. Yeah. Finish them off, and at the end of the stage, <laughs> it was practically just like two thirds of the stage, but backwards. Here's the. See if there's anything else in these. Doesn't look like it. Going and finish it off the stage. Hmm. No last thing, but it's okay. You got a whole bunch of XP from that. So maybe this was the stage I was thinking of where you can get a whole bunch of XP. Because think about it, there's four big dudes you had to fight. It's when, yeah, it is a lot when in compared to some of the other stages. and. Now for the final DLC stage we have. I think this is about to be another one of the stages that take place to like the after the main stage, because I think that the original stage ended with some doors. And hmm. Yeah. Water down below. You don't want to land in it because that's no good. Yeah, this is kind of similar to how it was in that one part in Lost World from the Sonic Adventure. And you're like the stage 9 for, of Sonic's story. You need to not get any confused with Sonic Lost World or anything. And well, you have to press this switch or this switch here to raise the water level for to, to this part here. And one thing I didn't sh did not show during that I did Sonic Adventure was that and when you flip the, press the switch, it raises the lock water level to that level, but however, very well. You can actually fall down, Edwin. You can even press the switch to uh, to lower the water down to that area. So like even if you fell down, somehow fall down through the area, which I have a few times, which you can kind of save yourself by just mm, by press. Wait, wait, lowering the water level down to a certain point. Wait, so, uh, I don't think I mentioned that at all during that Let's Play of it, which has been like over four years since I've done a Let's Play on that game. Wait, and ironically, it was when I was still kind of new at YouTube to where uh, I was still learning some stuff like I needed to turn up the volume and cut scenes so you can hear them better. Cause I didn't even bother notice that at all when I was first doing Sonic's story and adventure. But yeah, couldn't go back and replay adventure and just just Sonic story just show the cutscenes off with better volume. But I don't know if it's really worth it because you could easily just turn up the volume on your TV or phone, whatever you're playing or computer, whatever you're watching this on, or or that on. I should say not this. It. Plus, there was no point where I really needed to do that because there were no cutscenes in these. Well, kind of, but no like cutscenes with voice acting in them. I, I should really say. Mm. There we go. Yeah, got a little area up here to to have the high grounds and to skip a whole an area down below. Uh, to make it a little bit easier to get through to the end. Hmm. Yeah, I should. And I do say at end because 
We're almost at the end, because it's just right up there. But it's not over yet once we get up there, because because we have to fight some enemies. <laughs> yeah, we haven't fought any enemies at all until now on this stage. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> but hey, you, you, you get a big field where you actually can fight them. Um, so, that's nice. And I don't think you can fall off. You know, but even if you try jumping. Yeah. Yeah, there's like an invisible wall. But, but yeah. It's gonna be a good spot to it would actually be a good spot to fight a big dude, but, but there isn't one on the fight here. Just get a whole bunch of not, not smaller dude, uh, dark guy creatures to fight. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, shocking. But, okay, we just finish it off pretty quickly there. And I want to agree that was just enough XP left, left for us to max out the shield all the way. Wait, so there we go. Wait, hold on, now leveled up all the way. Oop, I didn't mean to quit yet. <laughs> that, that doesn't matter because I can still just do it in the, pop, in the pause menu. Oh, wait, skills and the stats. Because see, that junk that before we upgraded it. It end. Same with the Werehog. Again, pretty much any XP we get at this point will just fit up a bar all the way to until it reaches 99. Alright, so that's great. That's honestly perfect, perfect, perfect the way it worked out. <laughs> but I was not even planning for that, honestly, but yeah. Then it, that's all of the DLC stages. This way. But of course, I am going to have a, a bonus video or two showing off the, showing off some stuff I did not show off during my actual Let's Play of the game, like a few alternate pathways in Eggman Land, and some some collectibles and stuff I did not show, oh, because uh, oh, I didn't have them unlocked at the time, as well as a few things in the Wii version that I did not show, up, show off, because I did not didn't have them unlocked at the time, but now I do. So that's what all that we left for me to show off, and then yeah, that we ended, and we can go on to playing things. Mud drop, square pants, battle for bikini bottom. So yeah, that'll be it. So I'll see you all next time for that or for the bonus videos, whichever you decide to see first. So I'll see you all next time.